Chapter 6 The Source Nat expressed his sympathy with a shrug and sauntered off as unassumingly as he'd arrived. He'd given Luca and Iggy what they needed, and nothing more. As Luca sprinted across the snow, the events of the past few days became clearer, pieces to a larger puzzle. Rollo said he was underground somewhere, captured. Mr. Kerr tried to cover it up with lies. The clipboards were hell-bent on capturing Iggy, it all seemed to point to perennial harvest. But right now, there was one thing that Luca needed to know. Luca stopped dead in his tracks. The tree was gone, uprooted and moved, leaving a raw gash in the earth. He dropped to his knees and dug wildly at the cold snow. His numb hands hit something hard, a headstone. A dry whisper escaped Luca's lips. There was no reply, just snow covered silence. Inky finally noticed the tears welling in Luca's eyes and the snow covered grave. Suddenly, they heard the crunch of approaching footsteps in the snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to scoop up a snowball and lobbed it playfully. <laughs> Luca stuttered through heaving sobs. a solid smack on the back of his head. <laughs> Luca wiped his eyes with a sleeve. Iggy flashed a mischievous smile and cracked his knuckles. shared a skeptical look.
large pine and began digging furiously. He emerged holding a shoebox with a crude skull painted on its lid. Luca rolled his eyes with realization. Iggy stifled a chuckle. Iggy triumphantly raised the shoebox.
inched up to the edge of the hole with bewilderment in their eyes. Arctic air breathed out of the cavern in heaving gusts. Luca with a sly glance. 
Iggy waved the box into the air, threatening to drop it down the hole. Mr. Kerr flung up his hand with frustration. Mr. Kerr sighed into the frigid air. With a nonchalant flick, Peggy tossed the firework into the hole. Growl, Kerr leapt at Iggy, crashing through Luca. Iggy tried to twist away, but in the struggle, they both tumbled over the side. Luca dove forward, bracing Iggy's hand just before it slipped. His grip was made precarious by the cold, wet snow. He could see Kerr further down, clinging to Iggy's coat. Mr. Kerr began to hum a proud melody. <laughs> Luca's hand began to cramp. His voice began to crack. <laughs> Luca felt Iggy loosen his grasp. Every muscle in Luca's body burned. Luca felt his hand slipping. A calm settled over Iggy's face. Iggy's voice was colder than the bitter air billowing from the chasm. drop sail down into the howling void. As his fingers slowly gave up, he met eyes with Iggy. The two silhouettes were swallowed by darkness.
Nat turned and walked west. Dumbfounded, Luca followed behind him, trudging through the snow. Every step taking him further away from everyone and everything he knew, and closer to destiny. To be continued in Beacon Pines, Pines Harder. Revenge served cold, second time's a charm? Wait, that's it? This ends with a crummy cliffhanger, just when it was getting good? I was even starting to like Iggy. No way. I refuse to be associated with some never-ending parade of sequels. Let's go back and find something more definitive.